Hello, hope you're doing really well. Today, I'm standing on poo. Sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm standing on one of the most incredible remains of a gun battery that you'll ever experience across this Dover side, with the exception of the Wonston batteries. This one's poo. Winnie, unfortunately, has ceased to exist. But we're on top of what would be the control room. And we're actually in the cops or the area of where this almighty gun battery would have been. I want you to stay along with me. Like I said, I'm sure you're going to have a really nice time with me. Beautiful weather today, a little bit windy. But come on, let's explore this incredible World War II relic. And now I really mean that relic. So see you on the other side. Bye. In an unassuming farmer's field situated in the coastal village of St Margaret's at Cliff lies one of the largest guns used in the defence of the realm during World War II. The first gun situated down the road was named Winnie after British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, but the gun that we're focusing on was named Pooh after Winnie the Pooh, thus giving both guns the names Winnie and Pooh. Who was built in February 1941 and was manned by the men of the Royal Marines Siege Regiment. Although Winnie was built one year before in 1940, it fired Britain's first shell onto continental Europe in August 1940, boosting morale. Both guns would form to be part of the Dover Strait coastal guns as long-range coastal artillery batteries, changing blows with their German counterparts across the Channel. It took a 25-man troop of the Royal Marines Siege Regiment to operate the guns. The guns themselves were Mark 7 14-inch naval guns and were spares taken from the stock of the guns of the battleship HMS King George V. They could propel a 1,590-pound shell as far as 27 miles when an extra charge was added. And although slow to reload, their size and range was enough to create fear across the channel. Due to the high rate of muzzle wear and the weight of the gun, it was not housed in a protective bunker, but was hidden from view by earthen ramparts and a camouflage netting on posts. And due to its size, the battery was supplied by a special railway line. But because of this, it proved its undoing, as the guns weren't really a success as they didn't have any gun control like observation posts or radar and when they were used a spotter plane was used to fly over the target and report back the fall of the shot but because of this usually the spotter planes were chased off or even shot down as you will see the remains of this once forgotten battery aren't completely destroyed and i hope with a video like this can shine a light on what would have been a truly incredible sight to behold in the area during World War II. Hello. <laughs> so I've just taken a look and the first thing that you encounter depending on what direction you go is one of the engine rooms. And unfortunately, well or fortunately, I always debate, it's sealed up and for a very good reason probably. What you notice is that obviously where the farmer is, the ditch surrounding it is basically really well sealed up. Um, I thought at one point it looked like you could actually access it from down there, but unfortunately, again, or fortunately, it just looks a little bit too overgrown. I don't think that hard to tell from here but it looks like I'm not sure if you can access it or not hold on let me have a look proper just to sort of be a bit nosy see the thing is, is that there's a lot of dark patches which obviously normally give you the illusion that you can but I don't think on this one you can't you can <laughs> but this is the engine room or one of them so and then if we put it, oh dear god, in relation to the actual, oh, poo itself, poo is there, poo is in that wonderful little, would look like a copse really, and then 
a secondary engine room is in one of those allotments or one of those there's a lot of houses that back off here you see and it's in there somewhere but again for the purpose of today we're not going to worry about that but that one we can say we've documented it you can see the roof you can see and that's pretty much it yeah, that would have been i can see that that might have been the entrance here we go again putting feet where it could quite easily be a hole if you can see that I'll walk around it one more time because I'd really like to sort of document this if I can down there there's a couple of shutters you can sort of see just finger of doom there but it's there the engine room is there so onwards to the prize the prize of this incredible battery so uh, stay tuned see you in a minute I'm a uh, I'm at the second plant room so you saw the first one and I mentioned that the other one was a plant room I just realized that that was a magazine I'm really sorry so there's a magazine in somebody's back garden basically but we won't be able to record that I don't think so we'll just have to stick to these amazing things so this is actually what one of them should have looked like however you could see in the first one it's practically buried up to here so we'll have to <clears throat> make our way around very very carefully really gonna be difficult for all of you to get this but you just got to take my word for it this was an incredible piece of history I'm taking the risk of wearing a t-shirt though I've got my jacket but I'm very nervy about the fact I may get bitten quite a lot it's really buried so well here there's a brick wall here I'm not sure if that's a continuation I doubt it. it might just be a protected blast wall or something it's very difficult to tell <clears throat> oh so we'll go down and have a look oh, oh wow <laughs> here we go we begin with the oh wows how amazing is that? How amazing is that? I think I've gone the wrong way, really. There's an original latch there. Yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure I probably could have. In fact, you know what? I might just do that. I might go the other way back again. Oh! Lots of barbed wire, fencing, etc., etc. Oh dear. Here come the old granddad noises. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's so hot today. So, so hot. Let's try and get through. I'm actually quite impressed. There was a moment where I was quite worried about the fact of not being able to get in but yet here we are yeah it should be alright quick duck duck down one duck down two and we're in oh. <laughs> wow that was So this is the plant room everybody or oh, one of them oh man I keep saying it but I'm starting to get a bit too old for this Ooh, was crawling about but look at this it's just worth it today let's be honest huge I'm assuming there might have been double door shutters would have been here we'll find out if there's yeah double doors as you can see little uh, pivots they would have been on oh man that is amazing 
Hey, it's so cool. It's a little bit cooler in here as well, which is quite nice. Look at this. Just to sort of put this in context for everybody, the fact that there was two of them here needed to help facilitate this massive gun really is testament to the facilities, more importantly, and everything else. And it's so difficult that we now look at a farmer's field and we sort of realise, oh, it's just a farmer's field. But in World War II, this would have been a very different place. We haven't even got to the best bit yet, the actual uh, gun emplacement. Obviously, it's fully overgrown. I'm fully expecting to see maybe, yeah, that looks like a bit of a bird's nest. I don't want to stay too longer than I need to for the fear of nature. I'm assuming this is some kind of generator plinth that is here. And uh, these are the amazing windows. Isn't that incredible? No glass, but the frames are still there. Built for purpose. And again, you know, I will always confess, I'm sure lots of people have done this one. But for me and my channel, it's a new one. We've got to take it as that. Not much else to show you, unfortunately, in here. But it's what it represents historically. is truly incredible. When you think that Winnie is all but buried and a mere distant memory that um, that uh, I think it was two men in the trench did a, did a um, video on but Pooh or the remains of Pooh so far are good so we found the two we found the two plant rooms um, we know that magazine I don't know why I said plant room could get excited uh, that, that is in someone's garden um, and then we just need to go to the actual gun battery itself. Should we do it? Come on in. to the control room which I was actually very surprised to sort of see that we could get in wow I'm amazed at this place the fact that everything really is here maybe a bit buried but it's here a lot of stalactites I'm assuming that looks like a for uh, yeah, water. So it must have been like a cleaning room or basin or something like that. Amazing. Very small. It looks actually a lot bigger up above. But I'm pretty sure this is the control room. Wow, well, look at that. <laughs> still there don't look up it's really the key we've seen our wonderful case but I'm so sorry I know you don't like it when I'm looking up at you okay you don't like the light I get it there are tons of cave spiders above there's not really much to say about this place except that it pretty sure it is the control room control post wood there but it's amazing <laughs> amazing piece of World War II history there's two entrances oh one there one there but this is it I mean most of it is buried as I'd like to make very clear but what is here is still incredible I've got a very clay <laughs> 
had to slide in literally it was like proper clay gulpiness uh, yeah but hey ho that's fairly easy i was a bit worried that it would be difficult to sort of like get in but that's literally it so you've got what looks to be like a sink kitchen bit i'll just show you that one more time there and then if you oh and it opens up into these two rooms. Quite small, I'm really surprised at how small this is, unless I'm being really dopey. Might fan out into something a little bit bigger. Might it? Who knows? Looks a hell of a lot bigger from the top. So maybe I am being a bit silly, just being tripped on there. Nice. When a cave spider falls on top of your head, game over. <laughs> And I suppose the roof as well ellipses over. So maybe this is exactly what I've been walking on top of. But it just feels a little bit smaller. But that's just me. But hey, look, we've documented it, everybody. Documented what I think will be labelled as the control room. Control post. But my God, the sound of the guns as they... The gun. The gun poo went off. Must have been incredible. Well, like I said to you before, I'm sure a few people have done this one, but for the channel, it's not the point, it's for the channel that I'm here to document it, and that's the most important thing, so that if you haven't seen this before, then it's uh, hopefully going to be a nice experience for you, but if you have seen it before, if you have, then um, yeah, not to worry. Hopefully this is just sank a little bit more refreshing for you just to come back to. But there you go. Do it one more time. There you go. God, that is peeing on me, that water. So again, we know that probably at some point nature will take this over. And it will be properly buried for good. So uh, let's get it's out. It's in there that I'm standing on top of it. Actually, it's about right. It doesn't sort of uh, feel like it's smaller. I don't know, it just had that illusion at first. I was thinking, am I missing out on any rooms? But no, actually when I'm walking around, it's definitely the right size. There you go. Wow. Again, uh, gun facing out that way incredible really that this cops now it's nothing more than memories really for people what a beautiful testament though however it's this amazing sight you can see like i said how overgrown this all is now which makes it practically impossible to explore that much but the point is is that we've recorded this the control room and like I said, the other two associated buildings that are left, within exception, like I said, the magazine, which is obviously in somebody's backyard. And obviously I didn't want to sort of go and do that. It's not really respectful enough for me. But uh, yeah, well, it's all my stuff. <laughs> They're not mine, by the way, those sweet wrappers and everything else. Um, although they do look fairly recent. So yeah, no, I'd like to say, not Mel, not really a Mel Wham fan to be fair, but yeah, wow. Well. Right, let's have a look round. Right, so, um, I'm walking round, just to sort of finish off some bits and bobs, just to see if there are any extra bits. I've been walking around and I've managed to sort of find this, which is a concrete base, which I'm not sure what that is i don't it seems to go right down i don't know if that's it can't i'm not sure if it's anything underground i don't necessarily think that that would make too much sense considering the gun would be facing out that way i might be wrong however but um yeah that's interesting let me know in the comments below i might have to do some research on that and try and find something about that but i don't know i have no idea on that it's definitely a concrete base, it definitely dates to the period. But what that is, who knows? But what you've got to imagine is that really in there, 
this, I mean, mega gun. We're talking like mega size. I mean, this was saying that they obviously was belonged to, oh crap, saying that belonged to a battleship, you know. Uh, what we're gonna do now though, is we're walking around, just so we can get to document the whole site of the circular structure of like literally what this is, the obviously in the deepest ditch part. Although, as I sort of said before, it's very difficult to try and imagine this really when all you're looking at is foliage, but it would have been aiming out there and not too far away would have been the sea. So to actually notice that, to be a part of it, like I said, to document this, to be surprised at what's left more importantly, so the plant room is right on the edge of that really long sort of like copse area and we're just sort of circling around now just to finish off there are some remnants here if we can see anything else there's some concrete i'm sure that if you cleared all of that away that there would be loads more secrets left to be revealed but you know i'm as you know on my channel, if I can avoid, if I can avoid traipsing over too much, even on this field, uh, the farmer's field, I'm being very, very careful not to tread on his, uh, on the, <laughs> on his field too much. Um, I want to be as respectful as possible within reason, although that is quite difficult on this. But um, it's just incredible. I mean, the size of this whole mound is huge and it's not hard to imagine that there would have been a massive gun placed in within that and it's uh such a shame actually because out of all the photos that we have um poo seems to be the one that has the least amount of photos so what we can try and do is we can try and obviously utilize what winnie has and um try, <laughs> try and hopefully you get a better idea of it but as you can see, another point I just wanted to make actually for all of you out there, it dips into a valley. Now, that has not changed since whenever. But the point is, you can imagine when that gun fired, from a sound perspective, it will funnel straight down. And I can imagine that uh, depending on whether you're living in St. Margaret's Deal or even warmer, I wouldn't be surprised if you could hear the faint echo of these guns going off more importantly um but it's just the geology of the place as well the fact that there is just this slimy clay there's another bit of concrete in there if you can see that desperately trying to sort of pick out any fragments but the area wow i didn't i didn't it's like this the first time i've been here i didn't expect the lay of the land to be the way that it was and yet when I'm here it makes a lot of sense but uh so we'll just put this in context as well for the second plant room so there's a tiny little bit of uh you've got the hedge and you've got a bit of bush there is the second plant room the magazine is roughly within there so yeah we've documented it wow that was amazing in the immortal words of Phoenix History, thank you so much for your time, your patience, your kindness, and your support, more importantly. Um, hope I did a good enough job for all of you. Uh, love to all of you out there. And more importantly, because history matters, and it really does, doesn't it? So I will see y'all very soon. Take care for now. Love to all of you. And uh, yeah, kapow.